Despite Bitcoin's year-to-date 58% rally to all-time highs, it still trails Ether, which is up over 68% in the same time period. Now, some of the divergences make sense in that throughout 2023, the big story in crypto was the introduction of a spot Bitcoin ETF. Now, while the spot ETF remains as a top market focus, sites have begun to shift to the possibility of a spot Ether ETF. Both coins, however, seem to be focused on a couple of additional tailwinds. Market focus seems to be shifting to the growing national debt, which is at a current pace to increase $1 trillion every 100 days and sits at a staggering $34.4 trillion currently. Secondly, there's growing concern over the health of regional banks, particularly those with heavy exposure to commercial real estate. In March, the Federal Reserve Bank Term Funding Program, which was instituted in March of 2023 to address bank stress tied to Treasury holdings, will expire. Now, there are three possible outcomes to sunsetting the program, and two could be very positive for Bitcoin and other fiat proxies. If bank stress resurfaces and the Fed does nothing, the market could push money into crypto. Additionally, if the Fed jumps back into support banks and restarts anything even resembling quantitative easing, dollar proxies like gold, Ether, and Bitcoin could be a huge beneficiary. What's been most interesting about the moves in both Ether and gold is that they're occurring in a period of unusually high interest rates. High interest rates, all else equal, should hurt non-yielding assets. The fact that these assets have rallied against the headwind of higher rates begs the question, what will happen when rates are lowered, as is widely expected this year? Now, a reminder, the CME Group now offers options on both micro Bitcoin and micro Ether futures. We're going to be using the micro futures for these examples. If a trader believes that Ether could continue higher from here, they could express that by buying the March micro Ether futures contract at 3740 and targeting a move back to the all time highs of 4800. Now, stop for this trade could be placed below at 2940. This trade could make $106 if the target is reached, that's per one lot and risks $80 if you're stopped out of your level. Now, if a trader thinks Ether could drop from here, they could express that by selling the March micro Ether futures contract at 3740 and target a move back to the February lows of 2340. A stop for this trade could be placed above at 4440. Now, this trade could make $140 if the target is reached and risks 70 if you're stopped out of your level.